Hola. Este, creo que debo explicar lo que está pasando y por tal razón tengo uh, aquí en pantalla una mujer bella que resulta ser mi nieta. Así que ahora pues vamos a explicar lo que hay. Y ahora voy a hablar en inglés para que mi nieta pueda entender lo que está pasando, ya que no domina el español. Así que we're off to English now. Ok. Ok. Yeah. <laughs> okay um, well, who's to my right here? And possibly to your left on the screen, um, is Jacqueline Taylor. And she is my granddaughter. And we'll explain exactly what's going on. Um, <laughs> okay, so Jacqueline started off a couple of years ago looking for her grandfather. Okay, Jacqueline, can you tell us about that search for your grandfather? Yeah, so um, basically when I was growing up, um, I knew that my dad never knew his father. Um, and, you know, when you're a kid and you're like in adult business, nobody really like tells you what's going on. So I used to always ask him, like, who's your dad? Because we would only see like one side of his family and it was the Taylors. Um, and he would just be like, I don't know. So finally, one day I asked my grandma, which was probably a little forward of me. And I said, who's my dad's dad? And she told me a name, Charles Tolliver. Um, and then I just left it at that. And I never heard anything else. But uh, my dad has three siblings and they're all very dark skin. And my grandma's dark skin and my dad is much lighter than them and much taller than them. And I used to tell him, like, you know, Dad, something's off here. Like, you know, I think you're probably, you got to be, like, Spanish or something because you're lighter, your hair is different, you're taller, we look different, you know. Um, and he pretty much, I think, stopped, like, trying or trying to figure it out. And he was just like, whatever. So, um, essentially, I found Ancestry.com. And I just was like, well... I want to figure this out because I feel like there's like a part of us that we don't know. There could be a whole family out there that we don't know. And um, hopefully I can find some answers. So that led me to the site. All right. And what caused confusion on my part was mm -hmm. uh, I was classified as your cousin. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yep. And as you were throwing out names, Uh, I didn't recognize any of the names, and I was helping you find your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> you called me your cousin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, so the thing is, is that uh, little by little, we try to get more information from what was going on, and it comes out that your father was born in Albany. Mm -hmm. and, what year, 1972? Yep. Yeah, and uh, it happens to be that I was in Albany in 1972. <laughs> so she, all of a sudden she has a cousin <laughs> yeah. in Albany in 1972. And, um, and then we began to ask questions about this. Uh, it comes out that in Albany in 1972, um, I was basically with my Puerto Rican community there. I was a student leader in, in, in Albany. And um, even though we were with the, I was basically with the, with the Puerto Rican community, um, I did have friends outside of the Puerto Rican community. And that's where, when we tried to find out exactly what was going on, I, I remember this woman who came into my life uh, very quickly, and she left very quickly. <laughs> and um, never gave it much thought. And that's why, you know, uh, when the names, when, when Jacqueline was, was throwing out names, um, it, 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 none of them rang a bell um, until... Jacqueline threw out the question, you know, are you my grandfather? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and well, you know, morally, you know, if somebody gives you that question, you know, you say, well, you know, let's find out. So, you know, we had a paternity test done. And uh, Jacqueline, what did the paternity test say? 
<laughs> that you yeah. were my grandfather. <laughs> yeah, 99.99%. Yeah. Um, yeah. The curious thing is, is that your grandmother died um, mm -hmm. very early in your life, right, Jacqueline? Very early? You didn't um, really touch an hour? I think, no, I, I think I was probably about maybe 13. I oh, knew her, okay. like, yeah, I knew her, so but didn't I didn't know, know much didn't know about her. her. Yeah, I didn't know much about her, like, early years, I guess. I, oh, like, okay. heard bits and pieces. I knew she was in the Army. Um, I didn't even know she was old or any of that because, uh, from from what I understand, my, my dad didn't grow up with her. So I just got pieces that from my dad, too, so it was kind of... I didn't have the answers to the questions you were asking me either. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so you did get to know her. You, you got to see her physically, right? You spent yes. some time with her. Yeah, she lived with us, like, kind of right before she passed away. Mm, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So uh, what happens after that is after we get this test done and we find out that we are related. <laughs> very mm -hmm. much so. Um, you're coming down to Puerto Rico to meet us. Yes. Oh man, that is so cute. And uh, <laughs> just to let my my people know that um, Jacqueline has a beautiful daughter, este, Noemi. She, I mm -hmm. call her Noemi. She, call, you, you call her Naomi, right? Naomi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all the names on the accents you put on the names. Uh, mm -hmm. So I will meet Noemi uh, in, in this year, in, in a couple of months. So that's I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, it is 2022 already. <laughs> <laughs> We're in 2022 already. Yeah, great, great. Mm -hmm. So, um, so the thing is, is that all of a sudden I have a new family, and uh, Jacqueline also has a new family, and mm -hmm. we're gonna be meeting. And um, I'm I'm really enthused, and I just want everybody to. I just wanted to announce to the world that this beautiful woman who's next to me is my <laughs> grandkid. <laughs> yes, yes. I just wanted to add to with ancestry. I thought it was so funny because they did get it wrong that they they classified you as my cousin. But in my head, I'm like, the age difference is too much for you to be my first cousin. And I think the more people take the test that it updates and gets better so then that's when it told us that we had 36 percent shared dna and i told my dad that um and i actually had an aunt my grandma's sister i think they had different fathers though but she had t taken the test and we grew up around her all the time so i looked on my list and i found her and i had three percent shared dna with her so then me and my dad were like whoa this is a known family member who we grew up around, and I only share a three percent DNA with her. Mm. And then I'm like, and then this one guy, we share so much DNA. I'm like, Dad, this has got to be it. I'm just gonna ask him <laughs> because I felt like I was tap dancing around the question. Like I was like saying, like, Oh, you were in Albany, and I was trying to get you to pick up on it, and then you didn't. So then I was like, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how <laughs> males are kind of dumb on this thing. You know? <laughs> I just was I, so I that you would be like, uh, yeah, I'm done talking to you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it worked out. Oh, that was funny going yeah. through the messages and I'm talking to my dad at the same time. And I'm like, this has got to be it. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess uh, my friends and family have an explanation now as to what went on. Um, yeah. Yeah, and well, um, her name was, was Deborah, Deborah Taylor. Yes. And so, yeah, so there's no way of us uh, getting together with her. She died. So mm -hmm. um, at least I get together with this beautiful woman next to me, and I'll see her pretty soon. Yeah. And I'll get to see her beautiful daughter. Uh, yep, and then my brother uh, will be coming too. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, there's yeah, well, let's talk about the, the rest of the family. Okay, yeah. Jacqueline has a brother. Mm -hmm. And is connected? Yes. Okay, okay. Yep. So we have someone else coming down, uh connected. And let's talk about Jason. Jason is the one who's my son, and he <laughs> lives in China. <laughs> That's why we don't have him on the screen here. He lives in China. Yep. And mm -hmm. getting the test to him was difficult. That's why the test was done between me and Jacqueline. It was a, basically a grandfather-granddaughter test. 
And mm -hmm. that's the test that came out 99.99. And yes. if Jacqueline is 99.99 of me, I will, you know, by logic, you know, Jason is will be, as a son would be a 99.99. Yeah. So I told uh, them too, like, hey, now you know I'm your kid. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you ever Very wanted true, that DNA yeah. test? <laughs> Didn't think of that. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you provided yeah. proof of that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so I, um, all my friends and family uh, have now a full explanation as to uh, what's happening. Um, and, and we'll be, this is like a novel. And so you'll be getting updates, <laughs> different chapters <laughs> of this novel as we unravel everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, so Jacqueline, I'm 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 really happy to uh, to do this little message with you, and I'm really happy to see you, and and I'm just dying to see you. So, thank we'll, you, we'll thank let you, everybody. Well. Know what's going on? Okay, okay. Take care, Jacqueline. Bye. Bye, and let me end the recording here.